Right now, animal care and control is at capacity with 437 animals, 237, 36 of those are dogs, and dogs are the most difficult to move because they're bigger and some of them either are or resemble pit bulls. ACC's plea to the public is a familiar one. It is to help them save the lives of animals, and as incentive, you pay whatever you want. Right now, we are overloaded with wonderful cats and dogs. All of them need homes and uh, we, we offer our adoptions right now at Name Your Price, which is whatever price you want to pay to bring home your next best friend. Name your price to name the newest member of your family. Anyone adopting a dog or a cat from ACC will receive an animal that's been spayed or neutered, vaccinated, fully checked out medically, and implanted with a microchip. Overcrowding is a never-ending cycle as ACC does not turn away animals. Now that hurts dogs in particular because they need more space. And when that space runs out, Euthanasia is considered only as a last resort and only for certain dogs. If a dog comes in and it has a, a medical issue that under any other circumstances could be fixed or has a behavioral issue that given a little bit of time and some human interaction could fix, uh, it, you know, those, those dogs, if, if we weren't overcrowded, it wouldn't be a problem. But when we become overcrowded, we have to make some hard decisions, and those, these, those animals become more at risk. A risk they'd rather not deal with here. Blakeman says the dogs here are regularly socialized in play groups, which makes them adaptable adoptees, worthy of a family, especially this time of year. We are pleading with the public to come in and see our dogs and our cats, and uh, consider taking one of them home for Thanksgiving or for Christmas. Um, every family should have one or two. Now, if you're interested in adopting any one of ACC's more than 400 animals, you can view pictures of them online. Go to pbcgov.com animal.